Hey Vikes, happy Friday the 13th. Today we have another episode of Guess the Song, a special weather segment, a Globe Fest segment, and ask some students about their fears. I'm Riley. And I'm Sophie, and you're watching SVTV. I never thought that it'd be so simple, but I found a way, I found a way. Hey Vikes, before we start the news today, we have to let you know about the red alert happening today. Let's head over to Josh for more information. That's right Vikes, today we have a red alert here in the SVTV Weather Lab and that means severe storms are likely with all modes of severe weather possible including tornadoes, wind and hail. The most likely timing will be from 3 to 6 o'clock, but the storms will be hit or miss, so it's not a guarantee we'll get under the gun. A much closer look at this risk, as well as how the weather is looking for prom, is still ahead. But first, here are your announcements. Thanks, Joss. Now for the rest of your announcements. Seniors interested in giving a commencement speech, read the class of 2018 announcement. Speeches are due to Mrs. Flores by Monday at 3.20. All students attending prom, please remember to bring your student ID to get into the dance. If you have lost yours, you can go to the library to have a new one made for no charge. Seniors will need to bring their tickets for a free entry, but juniors and all other dates will need to pay $20 at the door. Logan Elementary will be hosting the last fitness night of the year at next Tuesday at 6.30. The Topeka Way to Work Employment Program will offer work opportunities for up to 16 Shawnee County residents who will be sophomores, juniors, or seniors during the 2018-2019 school year. For more information, see Schoology under your class of group. Monday, April 16th is a deadline for the final payment for students using a payment plan for Washburn University. Students interested in taking driver's education classes over the summer should enroll now. Cost is $175. Contact Mr. Tinsley for more information. Congrats to this week's safe winners, Noah Bell, Lauren Wren, and Michaela Miller. Prizes can be picked up at N14. This health club is currently accepting applications for summer employment. Applicants must be high school seniors. Fill out an application by emailing bhays at genesishealthclub.com. The North Nook will be open on Friday, April 20th. Plan on checking out store sales and apparel. The Adidas Scholars Program begins this summer with a six-week summer success academy where scholars will take a leadership studies course and a math course. See the Schoology post under Class of 2018 for more information. The March Mammal Madness Tournament is over and the Pygmy Hippo was declared the champion. Our bracket scores have been calculated and we have our winners. Check the bulletin to see if you are one of them. Hey Rai, what are you most afraid of? Cats, dogs, fish, frogs, tornadoes. Well, so to this Friday the 13th, I went around and asked some other kids what they are afraid of. Let's go check it out. Hey Vikes, it's Friday the 13th, a day that raises a lot of fear. So I went around and asked you what your biggest fears were. What's your biggest fear? Being interviewed? It's tied between two things. Those two things are roller coasters and snakes. Um, I'm afraid of being in places with lots of pipes. Not meaning anything in life. That's my other big fear. Biggest fear is wearing something less to bed rather than more, and then a fire breaks out. You run out of the house because of the fire, and all of a sudden you realize you're in your skitties, and you're like... <laughs> I can't go back inside to get my robe or anything else, and so you're just out in public in your skiddies with your house burning down. You know, personally, not a big fan of rats. They kind of, they kind of terrify me. Rejection. Clouds. Why are you afraid of clouds? They could ruin the instability, and then there might not be tornadoes. You want tornadoes? Yeah. Okay. In my vehicle with my kids in it and like going over a bridge and landing in water not being able to get my kids out alive freaks me out keeps me up at night without a doubt the greatest fear in my life would be to have a student named Sophie Sparks in class yeah that's a scary one my biggest fear 
is losing my memory. <laughs> my teeth falling out. <laughs> wow, sounds like you guys are afraid of a lot of weird things. Make sure you stay careful the rest of this Friday the 13th. Let's go back to the studio. Well, people at the school have some weird fears. I know, right? Now we'll head over to Sophie with the sports after this quick commercial break. I just wanted to say thank you to my family and my friends for supporting me all throughout my high school career. Hey, what are you doing? I'm doing my senior thank you. When do I do mine? Seniors, your thank yous will be filmed starting Monday, April 9th through Friday, April 13th during your government classes. If you are gone during these times, someone will contact you on Schoology, but plan to make up your thank you on Friday, April 13th during seminar. Well, I have to think about what I'm going to say. Well, I'll help you. Throughout the month of April, SAFE will be rewarding students who have pledged to wear their seatbelt and drive SAFE. Distracted driving also includes the passengers present in your vehicle. Statistics show that each additional passenger increases the risk of an accident. You're not only risking your life, you're also risking your passenger's life. Get your sports physicals done on May 12th from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Cotton O'Neill, Kansas Park. Cost of the physical is $20, and $10 of that will be donated back to your school. The softball team plays tonight at home. There is a track meet in Manhattan and a JV tennis meet in Emporia. Good luck to all the athletes competing. Now we'll go over to meteorologist Josh Duncan. Red alert, red alert, red alert. You all know it by now. There is a chance for severe storms over the next few hours. We'll dive deeper into that in just a second. But first, here are your weather headlines. Of course, we've got the strong storm chance this afternoon. Windy and cold weekend. Just as a tidbit, the wind advisory for today has been extended until 6 o'clock. Wind gusts to 50 miles an hour remain possible. And then some relief from this active weather pattern starts early next week. Here is the updated outlook from the Storm Prediction Center showing still a slight risk for severe weather, but this enhanced risk has been marching its way west with essentially every update. So it's looking likely that we could see some severe storms in the area. And here's the hazard tracker. Because of that tornado, I'm giving it kind of a moderate risk. Wind and hail will be our highest risk today, but can't rot the that tornado threat. If one were to develop, it would be moving very quickly at around 40 miles per hour enhancing the threat and reducing lead time. So just be aware this afternoon. Here's the timing in general. Afternoon is when we've got the storm chance. Evening, there could be a few storms or showers around. Overnight is dry as we start to clear out, but then the clouds are right back for Saturday with another rain and snow chance. Tonight, the few evening thunderstorms before we fall to 39 degrees. And then tomorrow, it's rain, snow, and wind on the back side of this system. High of 43 will probably be in the morning, but it won't feel like 43 all day long. Prom weather, we're tracking wind chills in the 20s on top of that snow chance. It is going to be very, very cold, and after midnight, this could even fall down into the teens, so just keep that in mind. And on your SVTV five-day forecast, you can see Friday 80 and then Tuesday 80. With We start and end the five-day with 80-degree highs Monday in between with sunshine. On the long-term outlook, it does show a cool pattern continuing again, though, so we might not stay at 80 for very long. Today in history, it's National Peach Cobbler Day and Thomas Jefferson Day. Now, Sophie and Riley, back to you. Thanks, Josh. Today was the second annual Globe Fest. Let's go to Augie to find out more. I'm Augie Chappas, and today I'm here at Globe Fest to learn more about it. What is the Globe Fest exactly about? Um, we decided to start it to just kind of encourage um, spreading foreign cultures like into the minds of like everybody here. So how many countries are involved in Globe Fest? Uh, this year we have 
14 different countries represented here in Globefest. Um, it's a really great event for our school because a lot of times we don't recognize all of the diversity that is among us on a daily basis and this gives um, our students a chance to see that diversity um, and learn a little bit about other cultures um, and it gives our um, our students that are representing those cultures a chance to share with everybody so it's just a win-win. So what country do you represent at Globefest? Uh, as of right now, I'm doing Mexico, you know, just sort of getting some of the Latin culture out there. Okay, and do you think Globefest is having a positive impact on semen? You see that? Positive to me. That's all for Globefest. Thanks to everyone who participated. This is Augie Chapa signing out for SVTV. Wow, looks like they had a lot of fun today. It does. Ethan has been hard at work with this week's Guess That Song. Let's go check it out. What's up, Vikes? I'm Ethan, and this week for Guess the Song, I got all Drake songs. Let's go check it out. I've asked about you, and they told me things, but my mind didn't change. I still feel the same. What's a life with no fun? Dang, is Cardi B in this? <laughs> well, I know the song, but I don't can't remember. It's Rihanna, isn't it? Someone. No, but like, yeah. This has Rihanna. Okay, well, Drake and Rihanna. <laughs> I don't know. You I, got any, you I, got any? I don't listen to this hood rap that you guys say trap music is for El Diablo. Is it? Is it Take Care? Rihanna. 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 It's actually Rihanna. Yeah, it's, I, they, she don't get you like I will. Take care. Take care. I don't know, I'm gonna take that big fat L on that one. What is it? It's Take Care, featuring Rihanna. <laughs> Rihanna! Oh he my God. Yeah, I have something for you. Sorry guys. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. know. Final <laughs> answer, I don't know. <laughs> but it's Just hold on, we're going home. Just hold on, we're going home. Just hold on, we're going home. Yo, Drake. Oh my God. Do you know the song? I don't know this song now. You. you were just saying it. <laughs> uh, Cause you're a good girl and okay, you're supposed know. to be guessing the song, not singing it. <laughs> Okay. Going home. Just hold on. We're going home. Holding on. Yep. I knew that. Hold on. We're going home. I'm gonna say okay. This is. Hold on. Coming home. Stop. Coming home by Drake. Just hold on. Home. Hold it on by Drake. Hold on. We're going home by Drake. It's hold on. We're going home by Drake. I also think that Bruno Mars might be in this. Oh, I was so Only look like up to me. They look up to me. I got fake people showing fake love to me. Straight up to my face. Fake, fake love? Yeah, love by Drake. Love. Is it fake love? Yes. I got fake people. Come on. Are you kidding me? Oh, my. Just see the song. You know it. Fake love by Drake. Fake love by Drake. Fake love. Fake love. Hold on, we're going home. Fake love. Controller. <laughs> hey. She said, Do you love me? I tell her only partly. I only love my bed. My mom, I'm sorry. 50 dub. I even got it tatted on me. Did he write it? Phone a friend. God's plan. Is that when he passed out all the money to a bunch of people? Yeah. Yeah, he handed out. Yeah. What was that dance? God's plan. 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 Oh my god, I just yelled at that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Shit on me. Yes. Okay, then say it, Trey. Okay. Whose plan is it? God's plan by Drake. <laughs> Definitely knew that one. Oh, freaking. Oh, I know this. Don't you tell me. He has multiple albums? <laughs> what? Drake. All right, guys, looks like most of you guys knew your Drake songs. Have a great rest of your day. Bad things. There's a lot of bad things that they wish and 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 they wish and
love me, I tell her only partly. I only love my bed and my mom. I'm That's all we have for today. Happy Friday the 13th. I hope no one comes in contact with their biggest fears, especially you, Ryan. You have a lot. All right, have a great weekend.